Okay, so, uh, this is gonna be different from my normal videos. I know you all are waiting for my 100 sub special, but I, I have to do this because when I started my channel, I, I told myself that I would be honest with my viewers, all of you guys, and that I would be myself on this channel. And I realized after this month came around that I have to do this if I'm going to be able to be that person who is honest and is himself on on this channel. I did not script this video, so it's going to be all over the place. And I'm sorry about that. I tried to write a script and I, I just couldn't, so... Yeah. Here goes nothing. I've only told a handful of people this that I trust very much. And especially for the few real-life friends that I have that know about my channel, this is probably going to come as a huge surprise, but it's Pride Month. I can't ignore it anymore. And I have to do this, so let's just start from the top. Let's just say that I have been questioning my gender identity and my sexuality for quite a while now. This goes way back, like from preschool through third grade. I really wanted to be a girl. In preschool, I used to do hula dancing, believe it or not, and um, there are subtle differences between the way a guy hula dances and a girl hula dances. I always wanted to do it the girl way and behind my kumu's backs. I, I did do it the girl way. In elementary school, when I used to go to um, Nihongo Gakko, Japanese school, just an after school program run by some old Japanese ladies that live here. One of the things they taught us was how to bow, and they taught us two ways to bow. One for guys, one for girls. And I always preferred to do it the girl way. <laughs> Behind the backs of all my senseis, and especially Kocho sensei. It was around third grade that I stopped wanting to be a girl, but that was also when I started to, um, cross-dress. Even now, sometimes I just like to, when I'm alone in my room, wear a skirt. And I've always wanted to try on a women's kimono, because they're so, they're so beautiful. And, and also expensive, which is why I haven't tried one on. I've also watched, and I really like, TV shows meant for girls, like Ojama Jodoremi, Shiga Shigarun, Purikiwa, My Little Pony, Powerpuff Girls, that sort of thing. It was also my last few years of elementary school, first few years in middle school that I <laughs> I read some of my sister's books, Witch and Winx Club, only one of each because that's what we had, but I I read them, and I liked them. And that's not to say that I, I don't like guy things, I, I do like guy things too. I like Naruto, or <laughs> Boruto's dad. I like Bleach, I like Ginkutama, I used to watch Power Rangers and Kamen Daida and Kikaida. If you know what that is, props to you. I, I like to play war games. I, I, I can, I'm okay with dressing as a guy. It's just, I also like girl things. And then moving on to my sexuality. Well, in middle school, I... I'm not sure about this, but... I might have had a crush on a guy. I, I don't know. I I didn't let myself feel it. I got scared. And I, I suppressed it. I've had crushes on girls too. It's just... I, I haven't had all that many crushes in my life. 
and the ones that lasted more than a month or so were always towards people I was friends with. Sometimes it can be pretty tough to deal with, especially when people assume I'm gay. It's happened to me once before, because I've had crushes on girls before too, so I know I'm not homosexual, and there's nothing wrong with being that, it's just not me. But then they point out to me that, but you don't check out girls, and that that's true, I don't, because I, I don't care about that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm more interested in personality, and who the other person is, and how much I get along with them, that sort of thing. I know some of you aren't going to take what I just said very well, and um, I know there is someone in my family who definitely is not going to take it well. I hope that they don't see this video, but they might. In any case, I can't pretend like this isn't me anymore, because it is, and I can't change it, and I don't want to change it. When I made this channel, I made a promise to myself to be open and true to myself on this, because that is what I wanted to do. But this is one of those things that, even though I had made that promise to myself, I had a really hard time doing because growing up I was always taught things about what a man is supposed to be like, what a guy is supposed to do, what a guy is not supposed to do, even though I I didn't fit into that. I didn't fit into the girl side of things either. But when you're raised to be all that and you just it's just not you it's really hard to come out, especially when it's someone in your family that's teaching you all that. And you're in a position in your family where, in that culture, there are certain expectations from you that you are supposed to follow. But when this month came around, and I saw a whole lot of people just, just being themselves, and celebrating it, I just, I just couldn't do it anymore. I had to do this. So, this is me. I, I don't fit into those categories, and in case you're wondering, I'm happy with my body the way it is, but I, I can't put myself into any of those categories that's out there. I, I hope you will just accept me for who I am. Thank you if you made it all the way through this. I promise I'll come out with a normal video soon. Thank you.